my name's Scott, Scott Pack. I am uh, uh, me and my big mouth on Twitter, and that's the name of my blog. Uh, we are here at the Tweet Up for the Big Green Bookshop uh, in Wood Green, which I organised because uh, I love the shop. I think it's a great idea. It was born out of the ashes of a Waterstones that closed. Um, it's a brilliant community bookshop. And um, they're going through a rough patch and they need to make some money. And I thought, why not invite loads of my Twitter friends to come along, have some crisps and a drink and some chocolate and buy a few books, which is exactly what I've done. And it's a, a wonderful testament to the community spirit of Twitter that so many people have turned up and hopefully the shop will make a couple of hundred quid and uh, that will contribute a small part to, uh, to their salvation. That's what we're trying to do anyway. Hello, my name is Greg Steckelman. I'm known on Twitter as the man who fell. Um, I'm a local author, local to the Green and, and Muswell Hill. And um, yeah, I'm here to support the Big Green Bookshop, which is a fantastic local bookshop, a real community hub, um, does loads of fantastic events, supports local authors. Um, Wood Green's only bookshop really. There is WH Smith, but that doesn't stock a great range of books. I think it's really important that Wood Green does have a bookshop. Wood Green, at first glance, might not be the kind of place that looks like it has a lot of readers. In fact, there is there are a lot of people here who enjoy reading, and it's important that they have a bookshop. Um, but it does struggle. Um, it's not perhaps in the best location within the green and I think that needs to be remedied with signs and hopefully the council will be forthcoming and helping um, put the big green bookshops on the map quite literally so that people know where it is um, but they do fantastic events they've supported me a great deal as a local author um, they have really good relationships with the local community um, and they're just really nice people and it's, it feels like a proper old-fashioned shop it doesn't feel like some kind of corporate uh, land grab in Wood Green, feels like somewhere you can come, have a cup of coffee, have a chin wag, read a book, um, share your thoughts and um, yeah I would say it's somewhere that really enhances the reputation of Wood Green, really enhances the area and it would be a real shame if it disappears. Hi, I'm Chris Brosnahan. Um, I live locally and I started coming to the bookshop no long after it opened. Uh, I think one of the main things that people don't think about with local bookshops that's actually quite an important point is what they do for the local community. Um, the different things that people can do in the shops. I mean, you can see it in the social aspect from just looking around here at the moment. I'm also involved in their writers group and their comedy night. They also do regular reading groups and things like that. And I think that's the kind of important thing that uh, there's a lot of larger bookshops and that online bookshops just aren't able to provide. <laughs> Okay, uh, my name is Simon Key and I'm the co-owner of the Big Green Bookshop here in Glorious Wood Green. Um, tonight there has been a tweet up, a meeting of people on Twitter who, um, it, it's not been arranged by me, it's been arranged by someone else who really care about making sure that this shop still, still is around. I don't think it's this particular shop that is the important thing. I think it's the idea of independent bookshops that's the important thing. Um, um, however, it's about me tonight, so ha ha ha. Um, it's been a really good evening. We've had lots of people here. There's been uh, people have been buying lots of books. It's been ever since we set the appeal out um, to, um, to tell people that we were sort of struggling a bit. Um, People have been coming in in the hundreds and they have been buying books and they've been looking to help us out. And it's just been so overwhelming. We we're so so grateful to everyone everyone who's helped in every single way, either by offering support, by giving support, by donating stuff, by just just telling us how much they love us. It just makes a difference. We we didn't know quite how strong people's feelings were about us and now we do, and it makes us even more determined to make this thing work. So we thank you, and thank you. Well, have, I mean, we've had authors like David Nichols who emailed us to say, whatever you want me to do, I can come and do. Uh, we've had people from America who, because uh, the message got around, it went, you know, it went kind of global. Um, people from America have been donating money. We had a little boy who came in with his mum and just came up to the counter and said, um, 
I'm never going to buy another book from any other bookshop again. I mean, it's just things like that that really, really are important. And um, and a, a, a guy came in and bought um, a copy of the Ragged Trousered Philanthropist, and um, he put it down the counter, paid his money, and said, "Right now, put it back on the shelf, because um, I want to have uh, the people. I love this book so much. I want someone else to have the the, the joy of reading it." But I, you know, uh, um, publishers have given us money. Publishers have sent us free books. Um, I mean, the, the, the people in Wood Green and, and Haringey have just, just flooded in. It's just been staggering, staggering. And uh, I don't know what else to say, really. Um, we love it. We love, we love everyone. <laughs> we love everyone. Um, but if we all come along and we all bought a book, then that might help them out a bit. That's the, purely the idea of this, is just to help a really nice bookshop out.